Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 13. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link. Download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 13 to 16. Hey, in this amazing little video right here, someone asked, how do I do some date math to calculate maturity date, and how do I build a little debtor record? Hey, we're going to look at date math, the if function, and uh, and it's going to be cool. So here we go. Here's our debtor record. Amount. $10,000. They borrowed $10,000. The loan issue date, 2-15-2008. And the term is 90 days. It's easy to calculate maturity date. You simply click in a cell and you say equals whatever the loan issue date plus the number of days. Remember, the a date is a serial number. The number of days since 1899, December 31st. So when you add 90, it just gives you the date, 90 days ahead of this. 515 2008 is the maturity date. Now let's build a little uh, table here with a date, beginning balance, payment, balance, and days left in the loan. Now the date, I'm just going to say equals the loan issue date, tab, and the beginning balance equals, oh, I'm going to click on that so it's the beginning balance, tab, tab, equals this, tab. Now the first thing we want to do is calculate the balance column, and then we'll figure out the days left. Now let's just do a little sample here. Let's say on 2 slash 25 slash 2008. Tab, tab. By the way, if you don't believe it's a serial number, Control Shift tilde is the keyboard shortcut to get back to general format. There it is, 39,503 days. Control Z will get me back. That's how many days uh, February 25th, 2008 is from 1899, December 31st. Here we are in the payment. We're going to pay 2500 Tab. Now, the formula to calculate the balance would be, of course, equals one cell above plus one cell to my left. Those are relative cell references. So when I control enter, point to my fill handle, and when I see my angry rabbit, click and drag it down. When I click in the last cell and hit F2, that's edit mode, you can see it's still one cell above plus, oh, that's minus. That would be great if we could add. I'm going to click Escape, highlight all that, F2, and change that to minus, and then Control-Enter to populate all the cells. Then I'm going to click down here and hit F2. Oh, there it is. One cell above minus whatever was just paid. Now, that's kind of annoying there. So we want to learn how to use the IF function to toggle on and off a formula, depending on some condition. Now, our condition here, for every one of these cells, if we have a date, one, two, three cells to my left, then we want the formula to be on. Otherwise, like in this case right here, we want it to be nothing, which is blank. And the symbol for blank in Excel is double quote, double quote. All right, so let's highlight the whole range and then hit F2. Whatever cell comes up, that's the light color cell when you highlight a whole range. That puts that cell into edit mode. We'll edit it and then control enter. I'm going to click before the E and after the equal sign and type if open parentheses, click one, two, three cells to my left, equals double quote, double quote. That's a logical test. That logical test always comes out to either be true or false. True or false. Is this blank? <coughs> no, that's false. If it's blank, it would be true. Now I'm going to put a comma. The logical test has been built. Now what do we want to put in the cell if it's true? Hey, we want nothing, so I'm going to put double quote, double quote comma, and then what do we want in the cell if it's true? That formula right there. So I very carefully click here, or I come up to the formula bar and type my close parentheses. Sometimes it's easier to do it up here and less dangerous than there. Then I control enter, and sure enough, wow, that looks like it worked. <coughs> now let's test it. Let's say uh, 3 slash 15 slash 2008, tab, tab. And we paid $1,000. Tab. Whoa, look at that. Our formula popped up, and it calculated correctly. Now, let's do days late, days left. And I'm going to um, do my same little formula here with on off switch. So I'm going to say equals if open parentheses, and I'm using my arrow key. Tab, tab, tab. I mean arrow, arrow, arrow. Let's left arrow. If the date one, two, three, three cell, four cells to my left equals blank, then blank. Otherwise, 
So that's the logical test, comma, what to sell, put in the cell if it's true. And then what do we want to put in the cell if it's false, which means there is a date. Hey, I'm going to take the maturity date. This is date math, right? You always take the later date, the one with the more days, minus the earlier date, the one with the fewer days. So that one, and I'm going to need to lock it going down. So I'm going to hit F4, F4, dollar sign in front of the number means lock when I'm copying it across the numbers, minus 1, 2, 3, 4. I use my left arrow, four cells to my left. Close parentheses. And that little formula right there, Control Enter. And then I'm going to double click and send it down. Why did it go down when there's blanks there? There's not really blanks there. There's something there. That double click, let me Control Z. That double click only works if there's something to the left, below it, or to the right. Now, usually if you double click it and there's really nothing here, it stops right there. But because there's formulas there, it knows. So when I double click with my fill hand, I point to my fill hand. I want to see my angry rabbit. Double click and it sends it down. I click in the last cell, hit F2. There it is. So that's how to make a little uh, debtor table uh, some with a little date math and some if formulas to turn on and off a formula. All right, we'll see you next. YouTubers love Excel.